Lock performance triggers. Let's talk about them. So I've had these two guns right here. They should be should be like the same gun. Um, when they were built new, they had the new Glock performance triggers in them. As you can see now, it's back on a factory trigger. I don't remember how long I went with the Glock performance triggers in the gun. Maybe six months, eight months, something like that. But I finally just decided, yeah, enough of the Glock performance triggers. Let's put the factory trigger shoe back in here. I think that's going to be better because I long term, I don't really want to deal with the Glock performance triggers. I put up a pretty antagonistic Instagram post too. It's like, oh, these are shit. I'm done with these triggers, that whole thing. So I figured at some point I'd explain why I, why I wanted the factory trigger shoes back in here. Now, the thing that I've talked about, I think a lot of people are aware about is the is the uh, the oil, the dirt situation. The fact is the performance triggers, you've got to keep them cleaner and you've got to keep them oiled pretty routinely. Now that in and of itself, in and of itself, that isn't really like a, a deal breaker, honestly. It's not, it's like, yeah, if I have to clean it to make it work, like, I guess, I guess I could live with that. The problem is uh, that like the trigger has a, a kind of an inconsistent feel to it, um, depending on how dirty it is and like what the temperature is, like it, like it would actually feel different. You know what I mean? It, it's so sensitive to, um, to, to being dirty that if it's like a little bit dirty, you can feel it. You're like, Oh, it, it feels a little bit dirty to me. And I mean, I didn't really like that. Uh, to be honest, I, I like the trigger. It should feel the same, even if it's, you know, dirty. Um, the, this, the factory tri uh, trigger shoes, like these don't feel like that. It feels pretty consistent, almost no matter how dirty I get it, especially compared to the Glock performance trigger. So it's not, it's not just so much that I have to clean it. It's like, let's say that I, I haven't shot these guns for a couple of weeks. I shot them a little bit. I don't really remember Then I pull them out and I'm at, you know, and I'm using them or something. I come up and I start shooting and I can feel like, I might feel like, Ooh, I mean, I thought the trigger was clean, but it feels like kind of mushy and gritty. Like I might have to pull it out of there and clean it, you know? And I would have that in my head while I'm trying to shoot. Um, that That's really what I found kind of annoying. Um, okay, but there's other issues as well. Now, the trigger finger safety on the factory shoe here, I have no issue with it. It always disengages. Um, I would sometimes get this little click a little clicking or a little something on the performance trigger where it's like the trigger, the safety just doesn't want to disengage. Now I know other people that had this issue where it's like the trigger safety is just not wanting to disengage for them. Some of them remove some material from the, some part of the trigger shoe to make the, the safety disengage. I'm not telling you to do that. I didn't do that. Um, uh, one of my friends had the, the uh, performance trigger in his Glock for about an hour before the, he took it out and he's like, no, done with this thing after an hour, just for that, for that reason. To me, it's something I don't really want to modify the trigger safety, uh, but I want the trigger to work. So to me, that was kind of a, like, it was, it's like, sometimes I can feel like the trigger finger safety doesn't want to disengage just due to the, the different shape of the, of the shoe. So that, that was uh, annoying. One other thing that's annoying that I didn't really um, realize how, how much I would dislike it is you can see on the factory trigger the trigger where the trigger sits uh, inside the trigger guard. The performance trigger is going to sit further forward. Um, so it's like, it's like there's less room to get your finger into the guard. Um, and I don't have very big hands, and it was like, and I could tell like my my finger almost feel crammed into the trigger guard sometimes just to get onto the trigger. That I didn't really care for. Um, aside from that, like, like I want like a clean, perfect, beautiful factory, a, a Glock performance trigger in the gun. Like to me, that feels really good. And I want to, I want that to work and I want to like it. It's just these other issues. It's like, man, I, I don't really want this thing in the gun anymore. So it's disappointing. It's disappointing that uh, the, the Glock performance triggers didn't work out. And I'll say one other thing. Um, there's a, the, the, the Glock performance triggers were pretty widely tested, I think, or at least tested for a pretty substantial amount of time. 
I used a couple of the tester ones, like the ones that were out there. There's certain places where where these these guns are like parts get sent out like certain unit or like a, a certain uh certain place, whatever. Like where where these will get tested. And I, I used a couple of the testers before I bought the commercial version. The commercial version is different than what what I used and then the tester that I used. And I like the the tester a lot, lot more. This was confirmed for me last week after shooting these performance triggers for a while, you know, then I, I used another, I used another one of the tester ones again, that had been, I mean, just one of the ones that was like a prototype or being tested, whatever. And I'm like, God damn, like this tester one, this is different. Like the shoe is different. It's wider. It looks different. The trigger, the safety disengages all the time. The trigger it doesn't seem sensitive to getting dirty. I think it has a different coating on it. Like the the tester thing was different than the commercial version. And I was kind of sold on the tester before I bought the commercial version. And then the commercial version was not the same. So I think that's what happened with this whole thing. Um, Based on what, what I hear, I could see there being a different commercial version or a special version of it that's more like the tester for those, for like the units that want it. I think that might end up happening. But anyway, the Glock performance triggers, it's, uh, I've, I've said au revoir to them, <laughs> no more, and I'll be just using the factory trigger shoes.